What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mosala Torre. Join the family, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as long as you promise to always keep it positive. And for today's video, I'm going to be going over how I get this hairstyle right here because it all started with a simple solution for me to get my bangs that were growing out out of my face because it got to the point where my bangs reached that awkward stage where they weren't super long, they weren't super short, they were just kind of in the way and I needed a hairstyle that would pull them out of my face but still look good. And I came up with this hairstyle and became kind of obsessed with it and have worn it nonstop ever since. I feel like I kind of pulled an Ariana Grande move on you guys and just kept wearing the same hairstyle because it worked. And I actually Googled why Ariana Grande wears the same hairstyle all the time. And she said her hair was so damaged from when she used to dye it from the Disney show she was on that extensions and a ponytail was the only thing that she thought looked good and worked for her. So she kind of just stuck with it and it became her signature hairstyle. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like I kind of pulled an Ariana Grande move on you guys because it was the only style that was working for me and I ended up just really loving it. I think it's super flattering. It gives me a bit of a facelift because it's pulling the hair back, especially the sides. It still has volume. I think um, a lot of you guys will really enjoy wearing this hairstyle. So I'm gonna be going over how I got this do. It's very, very easy, very simple. You guys will be shocked. Um, IGK is sponsoring today's video with their first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. I love this stuff. I love all of their products. They all just smell really good. They're aesthetically beautiful. Um, I just love their labels. Um, it's a great brand and this dry shampoo really helps to create a lot of volume because when creating this hairstyle, you don't want freshly washed hair. You also don't want extremely dirty hair because you want to be able to create that nice volume up top and all the way around. So if you guys have been eyeing this hairstyle and want to know how I got it, just keep on watching. <laughs> all right, here are the few items you're going to need to achieve this hairstyle. First up, a dry shampoo. Like I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be using IGK's first class dry shampoo. This one contains 7% cleansing powders. Um, it uses charcoal, so it's a really deep cleansing dry shampoo, but Dry shampoo isn't just for cleansing your hair. I think um, when you hear dry shampoo, you think, okay, my hair is oily. That is what I need dry shampoo for. It also gives your hair volume. And when creating this hairstyle, you want that volume, that little poof at the top, but you don't want it to look too structured. You just want it to look like you effortlessly tossed your hair up. And so you don't want your hair to be too oily and you don't want it to be too clean. So this is going to work for both situations. Um, next, you want something to add texture and not necessarily give you a hard hold because again, we want it to look effortless. So um, I'm going to be using Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel also by IGK. I find that this isn't like one of those um, gels that give your hair a very like sleek or slicked back like helmet kind of finish. This just adds texture. I love texture over a hard hold because if I want to take this hairstyle down, it still works versus um, using a product that's going to glue your hair down and then it makes it impossible to work with your hair afterwards. So you need um, something to hold your hair down, hairspray, gel, a pomade, whatever floats your boat. I'm going to be using this one today. Um, and then the next necessary item is this Harry Josh. Well, it doesn't have to be by Harry Josh, but you need a smoothing brush to slick back the hair. And then these two brushes are optional. This one is more so for creating a clean line when separating the hair. I tend to just use my fingernails, my fingers, but if you don't have nails and find it difficult to achieve a clean line, then you might want a brush like this. This one is also optional if you want to further tease your hair. I never tease my hair when doing this style. Again, I rely on the dry shampoo and um, getting that natural effortless poof to my hair <laughs> without having to tease my hair. And the last thing would be a small hair tie. I love using these small little rubber band hair ties over a large hair tie because um, it just looks a lot better on the hair. So from here, we're gonna jump right into it. You guys are gonna see how easy this hairstyle is. My friend came over the other day. We were gonna head out to dinner and I was not even close to ready and I did this hairstyle before she could even blink. She's like, whoa, I should have watched you do that hairstyle. I was curious about it and I turn around and you're already done. So you guys can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start by sort of just with my fingers brushing my hair back. 
just like this, just so that it starts to go in that direction. And I'm gonna go in first with the IGK First Class Dry Shampoo. I'm gonna give it a shake and I'm gonna hit it right, or hit my hair right at the roots, especially right here again, where we're gonna create that bit of lift for this hairstyle. So from far away, I'm just gonna give it a spritz. And then you're supposed to actually let this sit in your hair for about 30 seconds and then work in the powder. And if you are brunette, um, it will leave your hair white for a second, but the powder easily gets worked into your hair. I prefer, I get asked this question a lot, um, do I prefer a tinted dry shampoo over the ones that uh, make your hair look white for a second? I absolutely despise the tinted or like brunette colored dry shampoos because what happens is when you run your fingers through your hair, it'll look like you have dirt underneath your fingernails. It's so disgusting. So I much prefer a white powder that easily blends into my hair like this guy right here. So this is gonna give us that lift, especially right here in the front because I find that this part right here always ends up looking a little flat. So I'm gonna hit it there. Next, I'm gonna go in with the coconut oil gel. I'm gonna take a very, very small amount to begin with, just like that. I'm gonna work it between my hands and just glide it through my hair like this. From here, I'm taking my fingers. I'm probably gonna go in with the brush to further adjust it or make it look a little more uh, refined. And I'm going to separate my hair. And where this hairstyle differs from or is different from a half up, half down ponytail is that you're not taking, I'm gonna show you guys, let me turn this so I can see on the monitor you're not taking the hair straight across like this. Like this would be your typical half up, half down, right? You kind of go straight back. What I do when separating my hair from the bottom half is I go up and that's what creates that really cool cascading effect. So I start right here. I place my finger right here, right where your earlobe starts. And I go up in this direction like so. See that? So there's a ton of hair on the sides, which is gonna create that look as if you're wearing your hair down but still have volume. I think that is what draws people to this hairstyle is that they love how much volume and how much hair you still kind of see on the sides versus if you did this. And I usually do it a couple times until I get it right, until I have the right amount of hair. Oh, see? That's almost like a perfect line. But if you wanted to further adjust it, I just take the comb and do that. And then right here at the top, I kind of just make sure it's even. So from here, what I'm gonna do is take the smoothing brush and really smooth down the sides, but keep the volume at the top. So by pulling on the sides and not really messing with the top, just kind of use your fingers to get the hair to lay where you want it to, um, but smooth out the sides with the brush, it'll create that volume at the very top. So I'll constantly smooth the sides and adjust the top hair. And my hair was also blow dried straight, but I do this style when my hair is wavy, when it's been worn in, it kind of looks good with all hair textures. And then, as I pull it tight, I make sure it's pulling from the sides and keeping the sides smooth while maintaining the volume at the top. Slick it back. You kind of just play with it back and forth until you get the desired finish. So let me just go ahead and further adjust this and uh, conclude this video. That's all that there is to it, guys. All right, that is it for this hairdo. I'm gonna stop messing with it because Whenever I'm on camera, I just keep messing with my hair to make sure it's like laying right. If one hair's off, I'm like, I cannot post that. YouTube problems. But I hope you guys give this hairstyle a try. Like you saw, it's extremely effortless and it really takes no time at all. And I think it's gonna be so flattering on so many of you. Maybe we can even come up with a name for her because I don't know what you would call this. It's not like a half up, half down. It's also not just like that little poof. You know, we're not trying to look like a Shih Tzu here. We're trying to look <laughs> it's like J-Lo chic J-Lo meets Ariana Grande I don't know 
Comment down below. Let's get creative with some names. Tag me if you recreate this hairstyle. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.